Hi, I'm Isabel, and I want to tell you about a little-known resource right here on campus, the University Archives and Special Collections, located on the sixth floor of the LARC. The Archives collects, preserves, and makes available a wide range of primary sources which document the university community, local and regional history, as well as the ethnic, heritage, and diversity of Colorado. Primary sources are unique materials you won't find anywhere else that provide eyewitness testimony to historical events, things like handwritten letters, diaries, photographs, film and audio, and artifacts. The Colorado Chicano Movement Archives provides many eyewitness accounts of the Mexicano people's struggle against racism and discrimination in Colorado. Juan Federico Miguel Arguello Trujillo, better known as Freddy Fuig, was the unofficial archivist of the Colorado Chicano Movement and was always there with a camera or a microphone documenting events like the protests at CU Boulder over racial discrimination against Chicanos and the deaths of Los Seis de Boulder. Thanks to him and other donors, the archives has materials that paint a vivid picture of that turbulent period. Jose Esteban Ortega was another Colorado Chicano activist who gave his papers to the archives. Like the Trujillo collection, it documents the protest movement at CU Boulder. It also contains long runs of Chicano newspapers like La Cucaracha, which was published in Pueblo and provides a broader view of issues affecting Chicanos than that of mainstream newspapers. The papers of Louis Lux Garcia, a Pueblo activist in Brown Beret, offer insight into his fight for the rights of people in the Salt Creek Barrio, as well as for the farm workers. The David Marquez papers include his unpublished manuscript, Chicano Wars, which outlines the history of Chicano activism in Pueblo. The records of the United Mexican American Students, known as UMAS, are a window into Chicano activism in Boulder from the 1970s to 1990s. You'll also find interviews with Chicano activists and veterans of the Voices of Protest Oral History collection, as well as the Deborah Martinez Martinez documents, which outline Chicano leadership and development in Colorado. The archives are open to all students, faculty, and community members and are located on the sixth floor of the LARC. Research is by appointment, so researchers should call 719-549-2475 or email beverly.allen at csupueblo.edu to make an appointment with the archivist. You are welcome to stop by and take a look at the displays located in the gallery on the first floor of the LARC and in the entrance to the archives on the sixth floor.